Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. This is all about me why Demolis, Luxurious Home, Cars, Network in 2021, and many hidden things you never knew. Over the years, Miwa has been able to carve a niche for himself in the Shiba movie industry by dropping blockbuster movies. And he has won the hearts of many people with his unique story writing skills. He's known to have been the brain behind blockbuster movies like Ogo Shuba, Ori, and Yon Wolong, just to mention a few of them. And he has grown to become one of the top actors over the decades. So overall, Miwa is a filmmaker, actor, producer, and a director known by his fans as Miwa Authentic. He's also the brand ambassador of several companies. He's the CEO of Authentic School of Drama and Film Production. Overall, he has been estimated to be among the richest actors we have in the Uber movie industry. He's also a multiple award-winning actor with both national and international awards. Some of the movies he produced at the early start of his career included Adi Ronke, Akin Koju, Yonu Lorun, and a to to me. He commenced his acting career in 1991 and it was in 1995 that he was shot into the limelight with the movie Blonder Ashishi. And overall, Muiwa has been estimated to be worth the sum of $400,000. In this year, 2021, even though he does not own a home in the Arbor area of Lagos State, is also among the homeowners we have in the Uber movie industry. So a lot of people ask, what does Muiwa Demolish home looks like? Well, his very first house was completed some years ago. And this house is a mansion in Ibadan, or your state. This was reported on the news. The report also added that the house is located in one of the most expensive estates in the city of Ibadan, which is the Uluyole estate. As regards his cars, some years ago, a fan gifted me a car after watching his 14 years old movie. This was at Austin in Texas. In addition to this, the same year he completed his mansion in Ibadan. He also acquired a brand new car and this was on the news. So he has done quite well for himself over the years and is currently 50 years old. If you want to know more about this actor, please stay with us for a short but interesting fact and the biography of the Juba actor Miwa Demola who is also known as Miwa Authentic. Miwa Demola was a science student when he was in secondary school, but he has always been arts inclined. And he started writing stories since then. He really wanted to join the movie industry. In the year 1988, he went to meet Shola Ogunshola, who everyone knows as Ishu Pepe, with his stories, but he rejected him with the claims that he was too young for the job. After his secondary school education, he continued giving stories to different people. Until he met Charles Oluma, who will be popularly known as Abaku, who eventually gave him his very first major contract. After a while, he met a movie director, Esayola, who taught him all he needed to know about acting and movie production. Following this meeting, he commenced his acting career officially in the year 1991. Meanwhile, he produced his very first script, Ashishi, meaning Blonder, in the year 1995. This was one of the movie scripts he wrote back in those days that made it into a movie. Since then, Miwa has produced, directed, and featured in several Yoba movies. The movie Ogo Shuba propelled him into the limelight. This was in the year 1997. And since then, he has worked on several movies as a director, actor, and a producer. The movies Ile and Miyayo, Fumi Darairi, Hiroshi Ajay, Ashishi, Fadi Yoluru, Uri Fate, Indomi Lomo Akbe Singi, Owo, Owo Okuta, Omwele Mosho, Anju, Anju Ele Dumare, Tewe Tebu, Enyo Bipolar Connection, Diary of Amzat, Ogao Kuri, Dalimo, the Golden Seed, Aimoni, Beji Oloku, and the twins, Eji Uro. He has featured in so many movies, hundreds of films. Also a multiple award-winning actor. At the first African Movie Academy Awards, he won the Best Indigenous Film Award, 2005. He was nominated at the fourth Africa Movie Academy Awards for Most Outstanding Indigenous Actor. This was in 2008. Also in 2015, he won the Best Actor of the Year at the Old Image Awards. Also in 2015, he won BON Awards as the Best Show Back of the Year. He was also nominated in 2017 at the City People Movie Awards in the Best Show Back Actor category. In the same year, he won the Page Setters Entertainment and Recognition Awards. He received the Best Director Award from Bobblier in 2018. He also won the Best Versatile Actor at the Greenview Awards 2018. He was also nominated for the Glamour Best Actor of the Year Award 
at the Nigerian Glam Awards in 2018. An award of excellence at the Nigerian Canadian Celebrities Entertainment Awards was given to him also in 2018. He also won the Inspiration Award at the Symbol of Hope Foundation 50 Leadership Conference and Humanitarian Service Award in 2018. In the same year, he was also recognized when he was given the Recognition Award for his contribution to the development of the Nigerian entertainment industry. Also, in 2018, the same year, he won the Slate 1 Entertainment Award for Evergreen Director. That same year, Most Creative Actor at the first Yoruba Movie Gist Awards. And Enya Awards in 2019, also honored him. Also another award at Golden Ticket at Blinks Event Awards. He was also nominated the following year for Best Producer Award at the African Film Awards. And also in 2019, he was nominated for Best Yoruba Movie at the African Film Awards. In 2019, again, he won the Actor of the Year Award at the Prominent All Your People Award. And also Indigenous Movie of the Year, Barada, for his movie at the Prominent All Your People's Award in 2019. Also Special Recognition Award at the Emperor Award 2019, Best Actor in a Movie at the Yoruba Movie Gist Awards, Recognition Award at the 16 Most Influential Brands and Personality in Ibadan Award. In 2019. For his education, he attended St. David's High School at Mulete in Ibadan. This was a secondary school education where he obtained the West Africa Secondary School Certificate and he later proceeded to the University of Ibadan where he obtained a Bachelor of Education degree in Adult Education. He was born in Abokuta, the capital of Ukun State, even though he's from Oyo State. And his father's name is Isaiah Ademola. So, over his 25 years long career, Miwa Ademola has acted in over 200 movies and directed over 40 movies. On what inspired him to join the movie industry, he had this to say in an interview. People don't know I've been writing stories since I was in primary school. My major calling in the industry is story writing and I keep telling people, when they say I don't shoot Hollywood films, I just tell them that I want to make my stories for African people, for the Nigerian people. So this is a little bit about the show back to Muiwa Demola, and we have come to the end of this episode of Muiwa Demola's House Cares. Next was in this 2021, and many even things you never knew about. We hope you enjoyed this episode and learned one or two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.